Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please forgive the shakiness of this video because I am holding my phone and videotaping this at the same time. I had a request, actually a couple of requests to do an updated Lush collection. A Lush is obvious as Lush Handmade Cosmetics. They do lots of bath products, which is what I tend to buy um, from them, as well as some hair care products. So this is, I'm just showing you actually the container where I store all of my stuff. Now, this container holds bubble bars, bath bombs, soaps, bath melts, scrubs, and you'll see some stuff on the very top. Um, most of the shower gels and that I do put away somewhere differently. Um, but anyway, this is what I stored in. I got this three bin drawer. It does come with wheels. I don't put them on wheels, but um, at Walmart for $20 Canadian, and it's wonderful and it works perfect. So I'm gonna pan up here. Again, pardon the shakiness. Um, here is some of the items that I have from Lush. So, <clears throat> one of my absolute favorite things, as you know if you've been following me anytime soon, or anytime at all, is Rose Jam Shower Gel. It's a limited edition, only comes out at Christmas time. My absolute favorite shower gel that Lush does. I also like, there's some items I don't have, um, like the Olive Branch is also a really nice one, which I find that guys, guys will like Olive Branch as well. You'll notice a lot of my products are Christmas themed or they were, they look like they came out at Christmas and that's because on Boxing Day I go hog wild. I pretty much buy for the most part of the year on, on Boxing Day. So a lot of the Boxing Day sales are on the Christmas items. So you'll see lots of Christmas. So limited edition for Christmas. Lord of Misrule, sorry. Lord of Misrule shower cream smells like the bath bomb. They made this, the bath bomb, which you'll see shortly. Um, I've got a a lot, I got a lot of smaller ones, but I've given some smaller ones away and gifts and things like that. And that's what I tend to do. The smaller things I'll give as gifts and, and that for friends. But anyway, Lord of Mist Rule Shower Cream Fabulous. I love it. I love the bath bomb. It's my favorite bath bomb. Like I said, you'll see shortly why. Well, you'll know that it's my favorite. The Comforter Shower Cream as well. It smells like the Comforter Bubble Bar, which I will show you down the road. It's like a really, like, like Ribena. It reminds me of Ribena in England. I've been to England a few times. So anyway, it's very sweet and yummy. Speaking of sweet, there's a small snow fairy. I received this in one of those boxes that I purchased on Boxing Day. Snow fairy, a limited edition shower gel. This one is not, however, limited edition. This is a new shower gel that they came out with at Lush for this past year. It's got some sparkles in it, if you can see that. Um, it's not my favorite. I just find that it doesn't smell. It, I mean, it smells nice, but it's just not my favorite. Rose jam is my jam, totally. That one just doesn't smell as strong. Now I've got um, hair care. One of my favorite items, this puck looking thing, and also there is, it's sitting in a container. It's in a circular container from Lush, and that's how I store my, uh, this is a shampoo bar called Godiva, and it's gorgeous. It smells like jasmine. I use that in my hair and like throughout the day you can smell the jasmine in my hair. It's awesome. I love it. And they say those packs last for up to 80 washes. I swear to God, it lasts way longer than that for me, for sure. Um, back here, Breath of Fresh Air is my toner that I use every day, twice a day, morning and night. I love Juicy as well as the Big Shampoo. They're both, um, whatchamacallit, oh, <laughs> The basically they uh, strip my hair of all the cr the crap that's in it. I use the I Love Juicy on Sundays and the big shampoo on Thursdays, uh, followed by a heavier deep conditioner, um, which if you see my what's in my shower, you'll know what that is. And then a couple other items that came into uh, box sets, the Karma Cream Hand and Body Lotion and the Love and Light Hand Cream. They're both beautiful. The Karma Cream is one of their favorite or one of their most popular scents. And sorry guys. This little bit here is a small sample of Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. Beautiful. Love it. Even use it on my heels, actually. It's very nice. This I got in a box set. Not my favorite. Um, shimmy Shimmy. It's like a body lotion. Solid lotion. It's got lots of shimmer in it, so that's why it's not my favorite. Then I got Needles and Pine Shower Jelly. I'm not a big fan of the shower jellies, but I received these both in uh, boxes that I picked up on Boxing Day. This is just an empty tin. Um, great for, you'll see some other items that I have in a tin very much like this one. Storing products, um, love it. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to back up, guys, and you'll understand why in a short few moments here. That, oh, I can't even get that far back. 
that is my collection. <laughs> And in this bag, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to brag, but the, I mean, I've gone through a lot and I have lots of baths. In this bag are empty jars. All those black jars, including actually the needles and pines, which is not black. But if you bring in five empty pots that are clean, you get a free face mask. So I gather them up and then I go in every once in a while and get a free face mask. So I'm going to bring you over here. <laughs> um, so here on the end, whew, trying to get all comfy here for you guys. Um, on the end, I have many of the Dashing Santa bath bomb from Christmas. I have three of the So White bath bomb. Um, I think the Stardust. I haven't even used this yet because I didn't get as many. Like the with the gift sets I ended up buying, there was I have four of these. I haven't used them because I'm afraid to use them because I heard they were really good. I will use them. Don't worry. And the Butter Bear, which is just like their again. This is Christmas as well. Um, and also these bags that I do put items into their biodegradable. I just get them at the grocery store. Um, I do spend time to put them into bags so that the colors don't ex uh, transfer and the scents kind of try to keep it the same. Anyway, Butter Bear is very much like the um, Butter Ball. It is the Butter Ball, but in a bear shape. And it's very moisturizing. Then I have a whole entire row of one of my favorites, hence why there's an entire row. This is uh, Golden Wonder. This is a beautiful bath bomb. It turns your bath into like a turquoise color with um, like really nice fine shimmer. Now I wouldn't say glitter, but shimmer. Um, it's beautiful. It smells like their Celebrate lotion. And remember that Lord of Miss Rule shower cream or sh yeah, shower cream that I showed you? These little green numbers right here, these little green bath bombs, all of these, they are Lord of Miss Rule bath bombs. They are my absolute favorite. It turned out that every single box that I bought on Boxing Day um, had one of these in it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> like I say, I buy a lot on Boxing Day, but that lasts me pretty much for the year. And you can see, you can tell, um, this got a little crown on it. I think you can sort of see that there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Like in this row here in the blue, these are, oh, I can't remember the name of this, but it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. All these are limited edition at this point. I will show you what's not. Um, shoot for the stars. That's what this is. And this smells like, um, the honey, honey bath bomb that they already have. Uh, honey, I wash the kids. That kind of smells like a toffee honey. Beautiful bath bomb. Also leaves your bath amazing. And a new favorite of mine is the yoga or yognog bath bomb. This one right here. And to me, it does smell like the, oh, what was it? Bombardino that they had a couple years ago. It's just a really nice, rich, creamy bath bomb. Very moisturizing. It's, I think it does even have lotion properties to it. And that's my cat, sorry. Um, and then back here I have cinders. It crack, pop, crackles, snap, crackle, pop, I'm trying to say, in your shower or in your bath. Um, those little, ball, like those little red speckles are like pop rocks and they're actually pretty cool in the bath. It's supposed to mimic like a, a campfire, even though it doesn't smell like campfire, it smells more spicy, but yeah, it gives that, um, that sound and illusion, I guess. And these ones here are the Luxury Lush Puds. This is also limited edition, though everything still is limited edition up till now. This smells exactly like their regular Twilight, which I do have one coming up to show you, but it's not a new scent, um, but it's just a different packaging for Christmas. Got a little bit of holly on the top. Now for bath bombs, sticking with bath bombs here. Those two up there at the very top, Golden Slumbers came in, I don't remember which gift set it was, it's not a usual for them. They don't have this on their regular stock, but for some reason in one of my gift sets or two of them, I came with these golden slumbers. It's supposed to have properties to help you sleep. Then these blue ones here is Frozen. Brand new to Lush this year. So the Frozen bath bomb right there. I haven't even used this yet because I'm trying to use some of the Christmas ones up before I get to this. So there's that. Sex bomb, bath bomb. This is, smells like jasmine and all that stuff. It's very, very nice actually. And this is like a little like gummy rose. It, it does uh, disintegrate in hot water, but it's really, really nice. This is a regular line. So is the Frozen. Frozen's regular line. This is a regular line. And this is the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. This smells just like that there. And Honey, I washed the kids' shower gel and, and their soap. Lots of regular. And this is Big Blue. This is pretty cool to see in your bath, although it can scare people because there's seaweed in here. 
So when this is dissolved, there's a lot of seaweed in here. Anyway, it's very cool. And Rose Bath Bomb, which I think they've discontinued and I still have mine from a box set that I got probably over a year now, a year ago at this point. This is very nice. All right, I don't know the names of some of these items from a couple years ago. I know that that's the Locket Bath Bomb, it's so big. You can, I smash it, use one half, then the other half another time, and then inside there's another bath bomb inside. This did come out again this year in 2016, but I did not buy it because of course I still have one. Then that little flower looking one in front of it, it was a, it's a jasmine scented, something like floating flower or something like that. That was from last year, 2015 for Valentine's Day. And then right here, we've got a few of these snow angels, I think. They're a half bath bomb, half bath melt. They're quite glittery, but uh, they're quite nice. That was Christmas of 20, Six, 2015, I forgot what year of this was, 2015. Snow cake soap is my absolute favorite soap from Lush at Christmas time. Um, so there's uh, four whole bars of it right there. Oops. And then I have a little piece right here. And then I'm just gonna start here. That is a, this little square here is salt and peppermint bark. That was a, a body scrub that they brought out this past Christmas. Then I have one used and open in a tin, as well as two non-used. The rough with a smooth, that also is a scrub. Behind it is half of a bag right there of uh, five gold rings. There's actually three gold rings in that one and five in that one. Those are bubble bars that came out for Christmas of 2015. Behind it, I have three Holly Go Lightly bubble bars. You can probably use those like five times. Like I just crumbled them up. I just cut them up into little chunks. Then back here, that heart-shaped bubble room, um, I don't remember the name of it, but that was from Valentine's of 2015. Same with this other heart one here, also bubble bar, don't remember the name of it. <laughs> and then of course I stocked up a sparkly pumpkin and Halloween. They brought this back again in Halloween of 2015. It's very nice and spicy. And then Peeping Santa, also a bubble bar, came out at Christmas time in 2015. These are regular items right here. They're scrubs I use for my feet when I have a shower or when I have a bath. So there's a, I think it's just called foot scrub, but I'm not sure. And then these are pumice powers. Sorry, my ankle just clicked. Um, this is a pumice power. It came in a, a box set that I bought at Boxing Day, but it's because I bought or have two boxes, I have two of them. And then way up here, I have two unicorn horn bubble bars two karma bubble bars karma ones are regular uh they're part of the regular line the unicorn horn is from around valentine's day this year then i have over the rainbow but i think they're done i think they've discontinued this one now it's a bubble bar a regular item is the rose jam bubble room it's got moisturizing properties in the center it's very nice and then i have mm -mm -mm, melting marsh something moments anyway mm -mm -mm. those are um that is a bath melt you can use that a couple times Sardrin's cauldron in a little mesh bag very awesome then i have mango like um this is a bath melt cut in half throw it in the bath very nice very moisturizing and last but not least we have back here the bright side bubble bar, which is huge. Here's my hand. Maybe you cut that up about six times. And same with the comforter bubble bar, which is the same scent as that shower cream I showed you earlier that was in pink in color. So you guys, whew, that is my collection. That is my storage unit collection. All right, you guys, there you are. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, you guys, as always, be safe.